Well, this is how I found it. I walked, uh, I walked two hours, literally. I will be taking a cab back to my hotel. But when I took, I hired a guy to drive me out here. And as it turned out, Randy wasn't around. So I've flown 5,000 miles and driven another 1,700 just to stand in front of this bus. And being that there was nobody around, well, I am a Kelsey and nothing like eight foot barbed wire fence is gonna keep me out after having traveled as far as I have. So here you have my 1966 Hewlett Packard inner city crown. And I have to tell you, having laid my eyes on it for the first time today, other than in photographs, I am extraordinarily impressed by the condition of this bus. In fact, I'd have to say I'm very, very pleasantly surprised at the condition of this There is no disappointments in the exterior at all. This paint is beautiful. The stance is decent. I don't know what I'll be looking at in terms of attempting to make sure all systems will go. I know I'll be adding a brake light. And then when I look at these, what is on the roof, it's just extraordinary satellite dish, all the ACs, and it's got these funky vents that he's put up there. I've never seen the likes of, but they're huge. Look like inverted laundry baskets. But this bus, I kind of feared that I would be looking at sheet metal work that wasn't too good, but what it all boils down to is, notice the awnings all the way around. You've got the, you've got the generator back there, the Kubota. Hell of a place for a propane tank, but he's got that there. I have no idea what will be to the right of that because I don't have any of the access keys to really go through it right now. I should have brought my crown. I did bring my crown key with me, but I didn't bring it on my walk. So this is what you have. You got, uh, but the sheet metal is all good. It's just that it has this actually quite impressive black paint. And I mean, it's, there are many, many, many coats of lacquer on there. Surprisingly enough, it's very, 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 high quality paint job. It's not the uh, Home Depot uh, at 3 a.m. Rust-Oleum stuff. So now I'm gonna walk us in. Okay. Door has beautiful latch and nice weight. And as you can see, all padded leather interior and it's so nice it's just unbelievable that it's as nice as it is these steps are a little funky they're going to need some work and of course this carpet will be one of the first things to go but this is standing from the bottom step and kind of like looking back the leather furniture is beautiful headliner is quite nice a lot of unfinished work in here. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't really care at all for the sort of stucco finish that they did on the side. That will go. It's like uh, lath and plaster over uh, some 
plywood. Really not cool, but got the uh, little two burner stove, little sink and a little prep area. Of course, you got the Harley Davidson theme going on down in here. And uh, freezer and a fridge, little microwave action up there. Flip it back around. All these windows open and close beautifully like they just came off the, uh, off the factory floor. It's amazing. I mean, they just slide in so sweet and so nice. Hardly effortless. They're like butter, he said, as he broke his arm trying to close it. So this is what we're looking at here. Give you a little view of the cockpit. It's got a little flat panel up here. Speakers. Really nice little enclosures here with uh, startups for the generator so forth. You've got a uh, little power uh, for the inverters, I'm assuming. Don't know. Won't know tomorrow, but this is all for the in-motion system up here. Got your flat panel. Got your, uh, uh, your thermostat for all your AC and heat. And then another nice little cubby hole here with your uh, your dish receiver and um, cruise right around. Take you a step back here and uh, try to keep you up high so you can kind of see what's going on. This is this is back into the uh, little tribute area where you've got your American motorcycles and all your Harley Davidson stuff. Over here we have some cupboards. And through the glass we've got these little these little curtains, so I guess there's privacy, but those are nice little leather curtains right there for somebody. Somebody thought they were nice and oh yes, the little scalloped entryway. Ha oh, ho, that's high energy. So we'll just walk it in here this way. Got cupboards over here. And you can pan it down. You got the wood flooring through here. Little uh, bathroom area right in there. Sink. Little head. And a little shower. Opens up. Pretty bleak. But it's there. Some more little baby windows in here. Lots of cupboard space in this dog. There's all sorts of cupboard space. And you slide back into the bedroom. All the windows are closed. But all these curtains will be coming down. Because no one could possibly stand tall enough to peer in here. And it's got the bed. And... Of course, the windows. It's a little, little warm here. Got the uh, lots of lots of nice storage space. Mm. All the cub cabinet work seems to be done pretty cool. The only thing, my only gripe is what they did with these uh, walls. I don't, I don't really get it. But there she is. <laughs> Excuse me. Now I'm gonna make my way back to my hotel and uh, but I just curiosity was just eating me alive it really irritated me that I'd driven all the way out here from Tampa and I could only peer at this bus from the fence so there you go boys and girls this is a leather settee that does fold out into a bed this all beautiful leather right here, and that is full-on granite. And uh, these flex steel chairs are just beyond belief. They're just so nice. And 
amazingly, this dash is pretty much just flawless. So if it drives as good as it looks, which I've been told it does, I guess I made a pretty damn good score. So there it is. Wish I could fire it up for you, but I just can't do that since I snuck in here. Oh, I wonder if there's keys in that little box right there. No such luck. Thought you guys were gonna get to hear it run. Can't even open up the hatches for you and show you that 375 horsepower Cummins, which is behind this locked door here. However, it does look like these things will still, look at how, I mean, this, the body on this, there's a little dent right there, okay? But for 1966, we're looking pretty good here. We're looking very good. Everything, these windows are just beautiful. That's some nice hardware that Crown put in there. Just gorgeous. And it does look like It still has this door back here. And that's another storage area right there. All these two doors right here, it's hard to tell because of the black paint, but they both have key locks on them, so they both open up to something. This, these were the original storage areas for this HP. And the back, which I thought was so hideous, is actually still hideous, but it's much, much nicer than I thought it was going to be uh, from having looked at the pictures. It's much nicer. Just missing that one little panel there. Maybe that'll turn up tomorrow when I drive this thing away. And for all you guys who really thought that the back end was way too slanted just see if you can feature now how the roof line really does um, have quite a bit of arc to it once it gets past that rear window so there it is guys Moki's Moki's new crown Thirty-five feet, nineteen sixty-six HP Intercity raised roof, three hundred seventy-five horsepower Cummins, turbocharged with a five-speed Allison automatic. Ready to go.